Hi everyone, it's Donna from Little Spaceman Papercrafts and I'm bringing you a fun, what I hope will be a fun tutorial today. I saw this tutorial on a YouTube channel called Creative um, and I thought I'd give it a go with you. So, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to give it a go and see what it turns out like. So you use lolly sticks, I believe you call them popsicle sticks um, in the States. So... That's what you're going to need, some glue. And then what you're going to do, you need a piece of paper, um, just print paper. So you have a piece that would hang over both ends. So once you've got a piece of strip like that, what you need to do then is start attaching your lolly sticks to the paper. So I'm just using some... Um, cosmic shimmer wet glue is definitely the best way to do this i would think then once you've stuck that down you fold it over so you what you're trying to do is get the paper to train to fold okay and then you start again with another one and you put that one there and then that one folds as well so you're folding with every one that you stick and you carry on doing this till you've reached the your desired length and again fold this up and I'm going to carry on and keep going I'm going to speed this in so you're not sat here just watching me for ages stick sticks down to paper <laughs> so um i'll speed this in and uh yeah i'll be back when it's all done move the rest of these sticks out so then you just um, with your scissors cut off the excess so then what you need to do is you need to paint it whatever color you want to paint it obviously this section here is where you're going to write your sentiment or your greeting so what you're going to need to do is paint these bits but not the paper i'm going to paint this and then i'm going to be right back okay guys i'm back and what i've done is i've just give it a really um thin coat of of white acrylic paint because i still wanted <coughs> the wood sort of look to come through now what you need to do to make sure that your card hasn't stuck together is to fold all your lolly sticks to make sure that it still all moves correctly so in the end what you'll end up with is your design on um, a card that rolls up like this Okay, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to bring in some Salty Ocean Distress Ink and I'm just going to very lightly just very lightly distress with the blue. Now the tutorial I watched on this um, the lady actually drew on 
her designs. Now, <clears throat> I can't draw for Toffee. It's awful. My drawing skills are, um, yeah, pretty much non-existent. So, <clears throat> to that end, I will not be drawing on mine. But you can, of course, use um, permanent markers, distress markers, uh, sharpies, whatever you want to draw on your card. What I'm going to use, though, is I'm going to use this um, stamp set from Avery Owl. And this is called Alice and Friends. And, um, yeah, if you don't know, I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. So uh, when I saw this Avery Owl set, I knew I had to get it. So I'm actually hoping that it stamps pretty well with the stays on. So I'm going to have a go at that, and then I'm going to try colouring it in. <clears throat> so we're going to have to see how we get on. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take our little Alice off. And I will ink her up with some stays on. And hopefully this will work. As I say, I haven't done this before. This is all very new to me. Um, but we will just see how it goes. I'm going to hold it on for a little bit longer just to um, get it to hopefully appear very nice on our card okay that's not bad actually that's turned out okay yeah I'm quite pleased with that so um, I'll have to clean my stamps off in a minute so I'm going to take the little Cheshire cat image and ink him up really well and I think I'll stamp him up here and then <coughs> it wouldn't be Alice in Wonderland without our friend the White Rabbit so I want to stamp him here because he's got a little pocket watch that I want to add on but <coughs> it's very small so I wanted to make sure that I can get it on a straight piece rather than a join the stamp block is way too big for this but we'll give it a go brilliant and then what I think we'll do is stamp this banner line it up on my block now that's good let me just wipe that excess ink off the middle because I don't want anything actually do you know what I think I'm just going to stamp the happy birthday Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just stamp the happy and the birthday. This is a brilliant stamp set actually because it comes to um, it comes with lots of different sentiments. You know, for tags as well. You've got the to and from, and then you've got the eat me and drink me, and all the little shapes and things. So I'm going to dot those around. But I'm just going to get my bigger block. I'm just going to try and line these up so they can work together and then we'll see how this goes yeah that's turned out okay so far so I'm just going to carry on and I'm just going to um, stamp various images from the set around the card and then I'll come back when it's time to start colouring. 
Okay everyone, I'm back and I've stamped my design onto my um, rolling card. Now I'm bringing in my Spectrum Noir markers and I'm going to give this a go at um, trying to colour it in. So the only thing I'm really going to colour in are the characters um, and these little presents. So um, because I'm, I'm not too sure how this is going to colour, so I may have to use like darker skin colours and you know bolder colours just to get this to blend. I'm not going to try and do a horrendous amount of blending because it just won't work. Hi guys, I'm back now after I've um, coloured in the card. To be honest with you, my markers are probably not giving me the best result actually. Um, next time I do this I will use Sharpies. Um, I think I'll get a better result with Sharpies. So, now this is all done and dry you would need to write your message on the back and then all you need to do is make sure all of your little lolly sticks fold and then you just roll it up then I've got some um, blue gingham ribbon here that I'm just going to tie it with bows on camera are not my um, forte really I don't know what it is but they never seem to want to work on camera so there you go that is our lolly stick or popsicle stick card um, I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out considering that the markers weren't great um, but you know definitely it's all trial and error really so now you know what not to do <laughs> but I really hope you um, enjoyed watching me do this card I actually pretty enjoyed making it to be fair um, and I just love the way that it just rolls out I think it's really unusual and really lovely and not that difficult to make so give it a go so thanks so much guys for watching take care I'll see you soon bye